Hi friends, I hope you all are doing great. It's me, Nikki here to take you on another organizing mission around my house. We are going to be working in my kitchen in this upper coffee bar cabinet. So let's get started. Okay, friends, so we're going to jump into the coffee bar cabinet today. And this is actually a work day. Um, if you don't know, I am a professional organizer. And so Tuesday, Wednesdays, and Thursdays are my session days. And so that's when I work virtually um, on Zoom with my clients in their spaces. And so the wonderful thing about that is that it allows me the luxury of being able to work from home so that in between those sessions, I can work on spaces in my home. So I'm in between the session right now. So I'm gonna try to get as much done as I can can as far as purging because what I need to do with this cabinet and I will say that the things that are in this cabinet the majority of the things that are in this cabinet are the things that were in there when I first put this cabinet up and that's been friends how is some of you have been with me um, the whole time and it's been I want to say is it five years six years that, that we've since I put this up here but it's been a while and I really 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 need to go in and purge out those things that I am not using, I no longer love. And honestly, I wanted to rebuild it into being that coffee area that has all of those cups for all the variety of coffees that I love making in my home. And I want it to really be represent what you would kind of see in a coffee house, because that's the beautiful thing about creating these fun spaces in your home, whether it's a home theater or whether it's a coffee bar area is you can really have fun with it. And I, I really like when I'm making those different drinks, coffee drinks at home, having the appropriate glass to go with it. And so I really want to pare down the things that I don't use so that I have room to really create that kind of authentic style uh, coffee bar, or coffee house in my home. So first thing I want to do is take you through and let's start looking and pulling out things that no longer relate to things that I'm using or that I love. Okay, friends, you are going to be my support system as I go on this journey of purging out my things from this cabinet. And one thing that I know that needs to go is right here, all of these saucers. I had these, and I think I initially got these when I was in the UK because I used to do a lot of large entertaining over there. Although my house was very small in England, we always got together in large crowds, you know, women's groups, we did bunco parties, we... Um, you know, always had like, um, we would do soul food Sundays where we'd all get together for Sunday dinner. We would also have a lot of baby showers and things like that. And so, um, that came in very handy, but my lifestyle now, I have not used these in so many years and I don't even know that I have the coffee cups that accompany that anymore, which is odd to think about that. So they really don't serve a purpose. So those, all of those two pals um, stacks, not piles. Those two stacks are going to go and look, that's going to free up that whole half of that cabinet there. So I'm going to take those out. Um, another thing that I'm peeping at, and let me see if I can zoom in to show you here. Let's see here. If you can see behind those metal espresso cups, there looks like there's some glass espresso cups. And I don't know that I'm going to hold on to those because number one, I don't think I use them and I do love my metal ones there, but I also love my white ones. The only thing that I'm going to think about while we're on this process is the only reason they may stay is because they are glass. And I love, lately I have been loving having my lattes and my cappuccinos and all of my coffee in glass cups. It's just been bringing me so much joy. So they may survive the purge, but we don't know at this point. Um, so that's one thing. My silver coffee cups there, unfortunately, I think they may be purged. I have not used these cups in years and I don't know that I would use them. So they're gonna go along with the silver coffee cups mugs over there. I mean, they do add a nice look to the cabinet, but the purpose is just not there. So I think they're gonna go. Um, and then on top there, I am keeping my coffee tea, um, my coffee and tea service set there because I do utilize those and I have a set of six of those. And so they still 
are appropriate, still have the per perfect quantity, and they're really useful for, because it's the cup and it's the little um, teacup. I'll show you, I'll bring one down and show you how that looks. And so that's just kind of a quick overview. So now let me put the camera down and start pulling this stuff out. Okay, friends, so everything is out of the cabinet. Now it's a great opportunity for me to give it a nice wipe down and clean, and I can then start rebuilding it into my refreshed kind of coffee cabinet. And so one thing, when I took everything out, I did categorize them on the, that on the kitchen table. I have those things that I am um, going to donate, give away, that's there. Then uh, over here on the island, I have those things that I need to take a look at because I may need to get um, additional pieces to make the set complete or there's just an issue with it. And then over there consuming the rest of the cabinets are the things that I want to keep. So when you take things out of your cabinet, it's good to kind of create those categories. It makes it easy when you're trying to rebuild and deal with the stuff, because if you break it up, then you can deal with the individual categories as a whole, saves you time and effort. So because again, it is a work day, I have to go into a session. I am going to have to break this video up into two videos. So I'm so sorry about that, but the, the message and what my goal in sharing this today, I want to share with you my takeaways for this video. And one, it's to just create a, a, a something special in your home, you know, you know, utilize your home to really create those special places that really give you special moments. My coffee bar is that one space for me. So that's the, the first takeaway. The second takeaway is that a lot of times in your home, you have so many things around you that you don't use or you don't, it doesn't bring you joy or you don't like, and that is money. And that money, that those things can be transitioned into money so that you can then bring those things into your home that bring you joy or not bring anything else into your home and take the money and go on a vacation. But um, the point that I'm trying to make is you don't have to go and take household money and household savings to redecorate your home or to refresh your home. Utilize the things that are in your home and, and turn that into money and use those funds to do those renovations, the decorating, the things that you want to do around your home. So instead of investing new money from your household into these types of things, you already have the money sitting right in front of you in things that are frustrating you every day, the clutter. And friends, my third takeaway is that when you need to do projects around your home, and it can be those little projects such as cleaning out this cabinet or kind of even big projects as the garage, it's okay to take baby steps with it. That's what I did today. My baby step today was to assess the cabinet and to clear it out. And then I'm going to just go have uh, fun in my sessions with my clients this afternoon. And then later on this afternoon, I'll come back and I'll enjoy the process of cleaning out the cabinet. And then once Mike and the pups go to bed, I like to get a cup of coffee sometimes or tea and come down here and enjoy the process of putting everything back and rebuilding it. So you can take things in different stages, even if it's over days. The only thing that I do encourage you when you make that decision to kind of break projects up into little, little pieces is to only commit to one project at a time. That way you don't start creating these little craziness, uh, crazy messes around your home, which will then overwhelm you. So when you start a project, commit to that project, even if you're biting it off into pieces, you know that the house may look in disarray for maybe a day or so, but 
after that day, it's going to be beautifully organized. So that those are the takeaways that I wanted to share with you today. I also want to say, if you're not subscribed to my channel, I would love for you to click that subscribe button along with the bell so that you receive notifications every time I post a video. And I also want to encourage you to go get my new book, Beautifully Organized at Work. It launches July 6th and it's available for pre-order now on Amazon and Barnes and Noble. So I will put the link in the description box below. Thank you to all of you who have went and already pre-ordered your copy. Pre-orders are so helpful to authors. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Have a beautiful day, my friends. I will see you at tomorrow's video so that we can finish this cabinet. Have a beautiful day, my friends. I will see you at the next video. And this is Nikki saying goodbye.